all these wonderful knobs. From the function generator, we're going to come up to right here and plug the positive into the positive side and the negative. We want our volts per division to be probably set at the 5 value. And we're using this bracket right here, which is one times. So there's no magnification. If we had a magnification, we'd be over here in the 10 times probe setting. So we're at 5 volts. This knob right here needs to be fully clockwise. So turn it and then turn it back fully clockwise, and that should be in the calibrated mode. Check that. Over here is the seconds per division. Right now, it is set on 2, and it's in the millisecond range. I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but there's two bars. There's a bar right here, and there's a bar right here. And in between those two bars, it's in milliseconds. Over here, it's in microseconds. So that's times 10 to the negative 6th. Over here, milla, it's times 10 to the negative 3. So each major division on the oscilloscope screen right now is worth 2 milliseconds. So if we take the number of time divisions we had, which was 5.4, and multiply that by 2 milliseconds per division, that will give us the total time for this signal. So what we want you to do is turn yours on and get this measurement for one period. Don't write anything on the spreadsheet. What you're doing is you're working for the, through the first oh, eight or nine steps there in the lab manual, just to get used to the knobs, setting up the signal, and taking one measurement. The other knobs that you need to know about, the vertical position knob, look at the signal over here, and you can see it going up and down as I adjust it. Like I said, I like to align the peaks on the Y0 line because the, the tick marks are a little bigger and easier to read. Now over here to the left is a horizontal, okay, and that's the right to left. So I'm going to show you what that does over here. I'm just turning that back and forth. And again, line up a peak with either the first major division or over here at the zero. Don't do parallax. Make sure you're looking straight on at the screen. Don't come in looking at an angle. Okay, you'll get a lot of uncertainty that way. And finally, there's a, a fine adjustment knob. Um, <laughs> I said these were old. Uh, most of these have a fine adjustment knob. Uh, the other settings that you need to make sure are correct would be the slope, um, the level. You need to be on the, um, well, the auto. And the source of triggering needs to be channel 1. Okay, these are just settings you can check if someone has completely messed up the scope um, that you have it set to these things.